this is awesome. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Look at, hey buddy. He's wanting some food. Hey buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes okay. So what'd you guys think of that? It was the shortest I've ever been to the zoo, but the most impactful. Yeah, so what's like awesome is John <laughs> is a former outside. certified aquascape contractor that was full-time zoo curator, and he was doing ponds part-time. He's got two kids at home, so he ended up not doing the ponds anymore, but he still does them for the zoo. And the nice thing about this is every time that we do a water feature for a zoo, zookeepers love the low maintenance. We can use the ecosystem pond. You don't have to drain the water. So it's conservation friendly, and it's a lot less expensive than the traditional methodologies with the aquascape the ecosystem than the zoos are currently using with concrete and uh, over-engineered filter systems that need to be back flushed. Work with mother nature, not against her, and you can have great results. But uh, what a great, great little hour that we just spent at the Brevard Zoo. Awesome. Hey, thank you. <laughs> All right, what'd you guys order? Yes, let's go to the zoo. <laughs> This is exciting for me because it must have been 10 or 12 years ago when we were down here at Disney World. Every year we would come down and build a Epcot, we build Gardens of America. Future, what was it called? Epcot Center. Ponds for people. <laughs> or, no, no, anything. Gardens of the future. So every year we would come down here with certified aquascape contractors, work all night long and do uh, Gardens of the Future exhibit at Epcot. Epcot. Yeah, so every year we would come down and do uh, water features for the Epcot Gardens of the Future exhibit. Hey! What's going on, <laughs> man? Get older, what's this? And when do we build this taper exhibit? Oh, it's been 10 years. 10 years. Here it is, wow. Pump shut down at the moment. Okay. This is that original, and yeah, this was 2007 when we did all this. Okay, so this is uh, 10 years, 11 years old. We are just now breaking ground. We're doing a big major redo of this whole exhibit. Really? We're replacing taper capybara exhibit. We're adding giant river otters. Oh, cool. This is awesome. That is a taper. Aww. So John, explain the system that we built for you. Originally, the way the system was set up, you had pumps underneath that pushed the water to this first chamber, which was solids. So they could, the solids could settle in there. Then the middle chamber, water would upflow through that. We've now switched it to a biomedia in here. Our pump housings in here, which then sent it back up to a wetland filter down the stream and into the main pond. I remember when Ed designed this, it was to solve a problem that you guys had, and how did that work? It worked very well. The stream and the wetland filter were the best addition. Right. What we did for 50000 would have cost 250000 in a traditional AZA type of a setup. I'll make your numbers even better. Okay. We did this with you guys for about ten. You donated to us all the components from Epcot that we went to get. Oh, so okay. We pulled this thing in, I believe, for under 15000 It could have easily been over six figures. What a great system. Designed by Ed Ballou. Way back when. Way back when, and the taper obviously liked it because he's been here for 20 years. One of the things, the new one, we've got underwater viewing for the fish and giant river otter, and then just look down viewing for taper cappies and anteaters. What we're gonna do is take the backwash water from aquarium and otters, save it in a tank, and use that as the makeup water for the taper cappies and anteater. So our water consumption is going to go down to maybe a thousand gallons a day for a backwash. But we're going to recapture, reuse this water in the new system. So how many aquascape systems do you have at the zoo? At the moment we have, I think, six. And how are they functioning? Everything's functioning. I like to hear that. All right, where's this Jaguar exhibit I hear all about? An aquascape Jaguar water feature. Love it. When did you build this one, buddy? 2016. Oh yeah, Jaguar with an aquascape pond. Hey guy, how you doing? Beautiful. Is he giving you inspiration for new exhibits at Aqualand? <laughs> we definitely don't have a Jaguar.
So John, you still install Aquascape ecosystem water features, huh? At the zoo we do. You were a past certified Aquascape's contractor, right? I was. And you couldn't raise a family, have a full-time job, and be a contractor. I couldn't do it all. But you still love Aquascape. We still use your stuff. It has many applications in our zoo setting. Keep it simple, stupid, right? Yep. Wow, look at that Komodo dragon. If anyone has any questions about what's going on here, please let me know. Where did the deer come from? Uh, so the deer was donated to us. Um, it was struck by a vehicle, so it was donated to us for the purpose of feeding out to our animals. Our veterinarian staff runs a complete autopsy on it um, and sends out its brain for pathology scans to make sure everything's healthy. Um, and then we will feed it out. So today we had a smaller deer fawn that we um, gave to our Komodo dragons. If we have a larger deer, we might give certain parts to certain animals. Now this guy is the nemesis for many pond owners right here. A great blue heron. Also a great, great hunter. Look at that guy. They are cool birds, aren't they? Give you each one. All right, so we're going in. Oh my nice. God! These birds are Oh my God! Oh my God! Put that down, Brian. Put that down. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> You a little scared there, Brian? Check <laughs> out. Oh my god. Yeah, baby. That is insane. I love this. What kind of birds are these? These are rainbow lorikeets. Rainbow lorikeets. Hey. I love my job. Little fighting going on. That was really cool. This is the kind of thing zoos should be doing. <laughs> Up close natural encounter. Yeah. That's really cool. Nice place to volunteer, huh, buddy? Excellent place. So there's a scarlet ibis and an aquascape signature series skimmer. Perfect place to take a bath, buddy. Look at that, those guys are all chilling out down there, having fun. So another Aquascape ecosystem, huh, John? Another Aquascape. How long has this been in here? Open last May. How much maintenance on this one? Not too bad, no? Even with all these birds, huh? Is it just a biofalls or do you have a wetland? Just a biofalls. Look at that. <laughs> well, we did we did the aqua blocks up top. Uh-huh. And then skimmer down below, but we haven't put plants in yet. I love the fact that here is a zoo filled with birds in this area. You got turtles going around, crystal clear water, the aquascape ecosystem in full function, mating behavior going on. Birds galore in here. And it's just a standard biofalls right up this stream. Nice work hiding everything. It's buried in right down there is a biological filter and it keeps the water that clean. What fun game do we have now? <laughs> it's okay. Yep. Hey, guy. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Wait, I heard turtles. What, what about turtles? What I was saying is that they were giving kudos for our pond, but I said when we work with the animal folks on this, 
make sure we put in what's needed for the animals that are going in. So yep. make it a, to meet their needs and make it a good experience for them. So we deliberately set up areas in here knowing what we're going to put in them. Like the beach areas? And beach haul out areas. You know, slow down our flow up through here, make areas that are shallow for bird bathing, um, access points. Yes. Nice turtle and bird pond here. the pond boy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> really the pond guy. That's right. <laughs>